Hey Kelsey, how you doing? I've got both your ads up, that one and that one. And I just want to mention that, you know, te technically these are two variations of the same concept. Um, so, so these aren't, they're, they're, okay, oh, you have your, your concept, your concept roughs. And basically a rough is showing two completely different ideas. So what we have here is we have two of the same idea, so just two different iterations of the same basic idea. So as far as conceptually goes, I, you, know, you don't have to resubmit anything because you've done, you know, you've, you've really, these are really good. But um, I just want you to know that, you know, you know, typically when you hear roughs, it means two completely different ideas as opposed to these are the exact same idea, um, headline, um, subhead with the little stone up there. Then you have your left align type, your right placed logo. So these are basically two iterations of the same concept instead of two different concepts. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Now, um, one of the things I, I, we, I, you know, I can talk about either image really because, or either ad really because there's the same, um, kind of typographic and image treatment on both ads. First of all, I want to say the images look fantastic. This image is just, just, just about perfect. There's a couple of areas in here in the very, very darkest shadows where you're losing um, a little bit of detail and it's going almost to complete black. So right there, right there, right there. So, but other than that, it's, it's, it's adjusted beautifully. And we can say the same thing with this image here. The same, the, the dark areas are really, really almost black. This one's a little bit worse than the first um the first example in terms of um um kind of bringing the shadows to a point where they're losing detail because they're so dark so that one would need further adjustment now this image i don't think this image is working and i say this i've said this a lot of times now this is either a sunrise or a sunset presumably i'm guessing this is a sunrise but nonetheless it's it's cloudy and you've got Amethyst Bay, a Caribbean resort. Last thing a Caribbean, the marketers of a, the marketing team at a Caribbean resort wants to hear is clouds. Um, so they're certainly not going to want clouds in their ads, right? I think they would, I think you would get a call from your client saying, Hey, can you find an image with no clouds to uh, represent our Caribbean resort? See what I'm saying? Okay. Um, another thing and just kind of basic kind of visual communications, this rock up here. It, it's it's not it shouldn't be up there because of the obvious a rock floating in space indicates danger and whether that you know whether the viewer sees it overtly going wow that rock looks like it's going to fall or subconsciously where their mind says floating rock danger nonetheless that there's an aversion to that area right there i would definitely anchor that rock down here somewhere at the base of the ad um left aligned type i think that you're you're really super close to uh, what would be considered a no print zone so you got a safe area. I would pull your right margin in definitely. Um, left margin looks good, although you're yeah you're you're pretty good on your left margin, but your right margin boy that type is right up to the edge of the page. I don't think the left the right alignment is working here because for a couple of reasons it's it you know the type itself is really difficult to read in this area right here. I think the type itself is too large. Um, if you print this page out in black and white, you'll see how big that type is. It's huge. I'll bet it's, it's, uh, eight and a half by 11. I'll bet you that's 14. Um, I'll bet that's a point size of 14. So that's really super giant. But anyways, um, and then, so we jump back over here and we have the same kind of thing. So, and then another thing with right alignment is that bullets won't work because, you know, bullets are supposed to get the eye to anchor and, and move in not like jump around like that you know what i'm saying i would re revisit your your right alignment definitely i would rethink that um otherwise i think the page itself is is very good i, I would not stroke your headline or your your subhead um it's going to do some damage we can kind of simulate that here a little bit in in uh in acrobat that's why i love this you kind of simulate what's going to happen in print take a look at the uh, white stroke around the purple type. Now look what happens when we back off a little bit. You, I, I hope you can see that, um, but it's starting to kind of misregister, and it, it's that's why you get what you get for when you um, stroke type. Sometimes you get these really odd 
behavior kind of visual phenomenon things. And they, it just doesn't work. Now, technically, uh, stroking the type actually changes the shapes of the letters. It's true. So anyways, um, try to remember not to stroke type. It's not usually a good practice. But other than that, the important part is things are placed beautifully. Logo looks great. Images look great. Placed image, the mask looks great. Just a couple of tidbits here and there, um, little tips to help you out to really get this thing to a uh, uh, really a solid, solid ad. Great job, though. Very good. Any questions, give me a holler. Thanks.